Hey everyone, Danielle Harview here from the Fancy Flamingo Boutique. We are an online clothing store that offers men and women's clothing. Uh, we recently made the switch from LuLaRoe to Piffany, and today I'm gonna tell you all about why we did that. So let's rewind back to the end of 2016. That's when I first signed my um, application with LuLaRoe and I was in the queue and I was waiting uh, to get my call. And so I was currently a stay-at-home mom to a one-year-old and three-year-old little girl, which kept me busy. We were struggling financially and so I was looking for an option, a way to continue staying home with my girls as well as contribute to the family financially. So LuLaRoe seemed very appealing because of the profit margin on the items and it was trending huge at the time. Everybody was wearing LuLaRoe and everyone loved the products. So I was in the queue waiting and starting to purchase my supplies. So that consisted of hangers, racks, all of the good stuff. I got my call at the end of January of 2017 and prepared to launch my business. At that moment, I had invested just over $1,700 in supplies and spent over just over $5,000 to become a consultant with LuLaRoe. So fast forward, I launched my business in February Everything was booming. Everything was great. I had made a lot of uh, preparations up into that until then. So I was able to grow my following and my community and I had a lot of people that were interested in buying. I soon saw a lot of success in sales. So I gained a lot of local customers as well as customers from afar and was selling quite a bit each month and I was really, really enjoying it. Of course, my lifestyle had changed quite a bit. Um, going from just being home with my little girls to having to manage a full-time business and wear many hats. It became challenging after a few months because I was trying to figure out the best way to balance between the two. Things were going great for about a year. Um, fast forward to the early spring of 2018. And at that time, there were a lot of growing pains with LuLaRoe throughout that first year that I was with them. I was continuing to sell things each month, uh, continuing to grow my business and having a lot of success. However, we were taught the mentality that the more inventory you have on hand, the more things you're going to sell, right? And so I had built my inventory from approximately, I started off with just under 400 pieces, three some, 350 I think it was about. And I had grown my inventory to about 1200 pieces. Every penny that I had made, I had reinvested into inventory. I did not, and I had made the minimum payments on my credit cards uh, because we were a one income household. We were forced to put most of our, most of my initial investment for LuLaRoe and all future investments on credit cards. So I was at the time just making minimum payments on my credit cards and still investing most of the money that I had made in LuLaRoe. Okay, of course I was using the rest of the money to pay my bills that we needed to pay. And the spring happened and there were a lot of growing pains and hiccups throughout that first year with LuLaRoe. A lot of changes had happened. And looking back, I just, I was not loving the person I was becoming. And I realized that I had missed a good year of my children's lives because I was so focused on selling inventory and running this business that I wasn't doing what my heart really wanted to be doing, which was being a mom. And at that time, that spring, is when there were a couple big changes with the company and some retailers started either being let go from the company or leaving. And because of that, 
course, with LuLaRoe, uh, if you weren't familiar, a lot of people shopped with multiple consultants because of the fact that everybody carried different inventory. So a majority of us shared customers. So when uh, bigger retailers were leaving, they would be discounting their merchandise. And I soon found out that my current customers didn't want to pay full price for inventory anymore. So here I was sitting upon hundreds and hundreds of pieces of inventory that wasn't really paid for because I had them all funded via a credit card and people didn't want to pay the retail price which therefore left me with not even being able to make the minimum payments on my credit card, let alone reinvest and get new inventory. So they, they tell you to build your inventory and continue to, um, to be able to sell, you have to have new stuff. So my customers became so accustomed to that that they would only shop when I had new items. They didn't want to buy all the hundreds of pieces that I had on hand. And I just, I became so obsessed with getting new stuff that I accumulated so much that I wasn't even selling the stuff that I had on my racks. So in that spring, seeing these retailers leave and start to discount items, that's when I realized that I couldn't continue on the way that it was. I couldn't continue to ignore my children uh, because I had orders to pack or I had photos to take and still lead this life with LuLaRoe. And so that's when I decided to start selling off some of my inventory. Um, and I got it down to about 400 pieces or so. And I really, really took a step back and decided, is this really what I want to do? And I wasn't sure because I, like I said, I was at a point in my life where I wasn't the person I wanted to be because of the business. We had all this debt because of the business and I wasn't happy with what I was doing. I didn't love it like I thought I would. And so I decided to take a couple of months to just think about it. So the summer hit, we had a couple of trips planned, family vacations, getaways. And so I really just wanted to focus on being with my family. And I can't even describe to you how taking that time away felt. It was amazing. I didn't realize how much of it I was missing. And so that's when I knew that LuLaRoe was no longer a business that I wanted to continue with my family. Um, so when we got back, we had, like I said, we had a couple of trips throughout the summer and we got back and I decided to organize a swap with a local consultant. Because my customers were always wanting new inventory, there was no way that I could physically do that anymore because I couldn't afford to continue investing money in a company when I wasn't seeing a return. So I found this local consultant and we swapped out, I swapped out every single piece that I owned. And I sat down with my husband and we had a chat and we decided I'm gonna see how this goes. I told, I made a big announcement, I made a big thing about it with all my customers, letting them know, hey, I'm still here, I'm still planning to sell. And they were all so relieved because so many people were starting to get out of the business at that time that they were concerned and worried that I wasn't gonna be selling anymore either. They weren't gonna have their Lula dealer. They were really, really stressing. And so people were super excited and I kind of like relaunched my business because I thought, I'm gonna just give it one last try. I owed it to myself. I owed it to the company. I just, I really wanted to try one last time because at that time I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was gonna do next. And I knew that I wanted to keep staying home with my kids. So I offered this new inventory that I had swapped out with that local consultant and I was devastated because I only sold 
maybe 10 pieces. Um, so I did a live sale and I sold it, sold 10 pieces. And so then I decided I'm gonna sell, attempt to sell it to them a few more times. And I did, I did it a few different ways. Did an album sale, I think I did a mystery sale. I don't recall the specifics, but I attempted to sell it to them four different times and I maybe moved another 10 pieces. And if you remember, I had just under 400 pieces left at this time. So that's when I knew. I knew that this was not what I was gonna continue to do. Um, when I first started LuLaRoe, I had changed my children's playroom into a Lula room, and we were bombarded with toys in our house and we just I just decided I don't this enough is enough I don't want to do this anymore I want my house back so in the meantime I had been following a girl that used to sell LuLaRoe as well and she actually had just made a recent change with a distributor and I was following her and I saw her posts about it and so I messaged her um, and asked her for for some more details because I was genuinely genuinely interested um, Because obviously I was looking for another plan because Lula roll was no longer working for me And that's when I heard about Piffany To say I was sold after the first conversation is an understatement Number one No inventory I'll say that again, no inventory. That is huge. It's a completely different business model, so they don't recommend stylists carrying inventory. They don't want that burden on you. And to hear those words are like, I just, I can't even explain it. Just looking around the room where I'm at right now, which once was, filled with racks upon racks of clothing. And to not have all that is just like a breath of fresh air, right? That was one of the first things that sold me. Then I found out that you don't have to ship one single thing. <laughs> the warehouse ships it all to your customers for free. That was like my biggest pain point. I remember mornings where I was stressing out, trying to get packages shipped or package, packages packed and ready to ship so that I could get them ready and in time to get my oldest off to preschool. And it would be the most stressful mornings ever because I felt I didn't wanna to have to run out again with my younger one. And so I wanted to get everything ready before the post office. And I just remember I was like always stressed out and yelling at my kids because I was like, felt the pressure to get these packages out to people. And I hated it so much. I hated that. And the fact that I didn't have to do that with Piffany, yes, heck yes. And they ship to your customer for free. Your customer doesn't even have to pay shipping, which is amazing. Then I found out that there are new styles that release every single week. Yes. With LuLaRoe, I was, I was limited by what I had in my personal inventory. Now, some consultants used to do what's called a takeover, where they would go and take over someone's um, home in their inventory and show that. I couldn't really do that with two little kids at home because I didn't want to take them into someone's house and it just, it didn't work for me, the logistics of it. So I was really limited with what I had on hand. And the fact that Piffany comes out with new styles every single week and I don't have to have them in my house physically was amazing. Oh. And then I found out how much it costs. <laughs> and this was the real eye opener. I went from spending just under seven thousand dollars to start LuLaRoe to 199 
Yes, that's right. Looking back, I almost feel like a fool that I spent that much money. But then I think I learned so much about myself. I learned a lot about social selling. I enjoyed aspects of it. There was a lot I didn't like, but obviously I wouldn't be where I was today because of it. So, and since then the packages or the signing sign up is way different. It's as little as 99 or as most as 299. And with 299, you get a $250 credit to buy new clothes. Who doesn't love that? It's just, I can't even, I can't even express to you how different it is. The company, the mentality, and they keep us in the loop about everything. We know about new styles coming out. There's no surprises with Piffany, and that is worth a million dollars to me. And that's what I love. So here I am, three months in to Piffany, and I have surpassed all of my goals. I have earned myself a ticket on a cruise coming up this spring. I never even came close to that with LuLaRoe, never. And I'm not even doing a fraction of what I was selling before. I'm still selling, I'll take that, I'll, revise that. I'm still selling as much. I'm just, the requirements of the cruise are a lot less. That's the difference is that they want everybody to have an opportunity. They care about the little people. It's not just about the top 10 or the top 100 in this company. And that to me speaks volumes. So if you're feeling stuck in whatever business you're in, whether it's LuLaRoe, or maybe you just work full time somewhere and you don't enjoy it and you're really looking for a change, something else, something fun, something that sets your soul on fire. Piffany could be it. I'd love to have you on my team. If you're even just the teeniest bit interested, contact me and we'll talk about it. We can discuss together if it is the right choice for you. All of my information is below. If you found this video helpful, if you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel so you'll see more of our videos going forward. I really, really, really appreciate you watching this today and thank you very much. Have a great day.